A long thin rod of length L, when rotated about an axis through its center of a mass, has a moment of inertia of I equals 1 12th ml squared. That's this picture right here. Here's the rod L, and here's the rotation axis. What is its moment of inertia when rotated about an axis through one of its endpoints? That's this second picture. And what's important to note here is the distance between the center of mass and the new rotation axis is L over 2. Now we're going to use the parallel axis theorem. And the parallel axis theorem states that the moment of inertia about any other axis is equal to the moment of inertia about the center of mass plus the mass times the distance away, the distance between the new rotational axis and the one through the center of mass. We put in our value for the center of mass, moment of inertia, and then remember we said that the new axis is L over 2 away. So we put that value in for D, we carry out the math, and we get 1 third ML squared, the answer is C.